Hey, shit. Welcome back to Nisa Girl Tarot. So we're here to do the collective reading for Friday the 13th. Boom. <laughs> here we go. For the collective for Friday the 13th. One more, one more. Friday 13th of October. Boom. <laughs> what do you have for the collective for Friday the 13th? Holy Spirit, angels of heaven. For Friday. Uh oh, no, don't do that. Okay. The waiting game. With foundation and achievement, it's that relationship for wants energy. Same freaking messages. Same freaking messages. <laughs> you go so seriously. It's full. All right, here we go. Let's go. Here we go. Foundation and achievements. Let's see why this message is here. This card confirms that what you've been building is now firmly established with a strong and solid foundation. You deserve this. And it's time for you to harvest the rewards for your efforts. What you sow, you now can reap. Be open to receive as you work hard and have given so much. Allow the universe to give a little back to you. For there has to be an even exchange of giving and receiving in order to prime the pump of gratitude and reinforce the law of attraction. Using the more traditional meaning in tarot, this card represents a period of celebration, peace, and prosperity. It may also imply a marriage or buying of land or a new home. As you enjoy this time of relaxation that you so deserve, know that nothing remains stagnant and the winds of change are always at your door. Always. Always. Okay. Let's see what this change is. Okay. Release his happiness. Okay. We're going into the weekend with some happy news. Okay. Something you've been waiting for maybe is coming through with the wedding game card there. But there's foundation and achievement that's happening right now. That's it. Why well, is this foundation and achievement card here for the collective? Thank you, Spirit. Why? Foundation and achievement for the collective. Ooh. 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 No, seriously. The three of pentacles and the six of cups. You can go, you can be um, collaborating with someone from your childhood or someone from your past. Okay. This can be a feminine energy, a queen of pentacles, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn feminine energy. Um, you guys can come into some type of partnership together. Okay. With the two of cups. All right. Yeah. With the nine of pentacles energy and the queen of cups energy. All right, so someone could be single and wanting to, you know, take a leap of faith in the direction that they feel is best for them. Or this can be someone that's like, you know, sees you as someone they could build some type of financial endeavor with, okay? Maybe they want to use your intuition with what they got going on, okay? And you guys take a leap of faith in some type of collaboration. Why is foundation and achievements here? For the collective. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, got the tower energy that came out first. So this is a sudden change. This is that unexpected that was happening earlier this week. Yeah, but this Emperor energy, this is about stepping up, a boss, okay, with the Four Swords, developing a plan, okay, um, maybe someone that you haven't, you've maybe been on a break or haven't spoken to, or maybe someone stepping up to recover something, okay, with the Page of Swords energy, 
knowing that something is their Ten of Cups. Okay? Yeah, because their perspective is changing and someone is choosing a path. Yeah, King of Pentacles now. So this is definitely talking about partnership and union. Stepping up to heal, recover something. Yeah. With the waiting game card here, let's clarify that. Because this could be something that you've been waiting on. Number two. It says this. This card indicates that you've worked hard to set things in motion in certain areas of your life. And you're now waiting for the results to come to fruition. The number two is all about choice and decision. In the past, you may have been afraid of making decisions or choices, but now you're no longer held prisoner by this fear or the constraints of old beliefs. That's what we've been saying all week. Good job. Expect the best and be open to the limitless power of your intuition, which is presently very strong. Trust and use it to assist you. Achievement and success are assured. But once you obtain, once obtained, don't let it change you. Remember who you are, the effort it took to get you to this point, and the gratitude you need to show to the people who helped you. Stay on your spiritual path, for it will continue to guide you on the journey of your soul. You about to get what you wanted. What you been waiting for? What you been sowing seeds to get? And Spirit said that earlier in the week that you was about to get something that you had reaped your harvest, right? Yeah. So, with the waiting game card here, something's coming through for you. A choice is being made. Okay? Um, the will of fortune. Destiny. You're getting some destined communication. Oh, what? crazy destined communication page of wands that is a wish fulfilled nine of cups i wish i had a mic so i could drop it this is epic yeah man whoa King of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This is amazing. Seriously. This is amazing. Someone is coming forward. E expressing themselves. This is some destined communication. Seven of Wands. And listen, they're not budging, okay? With the Knight of Souls energy, this is about making a concrete decision that was once avoided because maybe someone was experiencing some type of heartbreak or disappointment with the Three of Swords. Yeah, but that's temper. Listen, with the Temperance energy, they're good on it now. They're ready for a new beginning. This is like someone that's good on that now. Whatever was going on in the past, whatever they was dealing with, they're feeling better about it. They're more balanced. They're good. This someone is not budging at all. At all. Seriously, why is the waiting game here for the collective? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is someone that's ready to work on their happiness. This is someone that's ready to put in the effort. They're not budging. Okay, at all. Yes. Someone is ending the cycle because they feel like they manifested this opportunity and they're not budging. Seriously. The waiting game. For the collector. This is crazy. Um, all right, so whatever someone was holding and suppressing, whatever fear someone was allowing to stop them, 
that's done. Okay? Yeah. Because maybe it caused someone to avoid making decisions. Caused someone to shut down, to close off. Okay? Yeah. Because they were heartbroken. Maybe disappointed in, this ex in one experience and not feeling their best. But this temper, okay? Temperance energy is balancing out that energy. And someone is making a judgment to leave past experiences behind, past people, past, listen, the decisions being made. That decision that was supposed to be made all week, it's being made. That's crazy. This communication that's coming in, it's destiny. This is big. This is big. So that's what I have for you, Shay. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me what's going on. 1111 was just on the clock. It's getting deep. Miss you guys already. <laughs> Bye.